Welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who are returning to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. We look forward to giving you something each and every week, and mm-hmm. we thank you for returning each and every week. Yeah. Um, and if you are new to our channel, please like and comment and subscribe to our video. We would surely appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, and happy new year to you all. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I know we did. Sharon and I actually uh, spent time alone yeah. um, on Christmas Day, and um, it was really nice. You know, I, I was feeling some kind of way with it because I'm so used to either the kids being here or mm-hmm. just being around family, family and, and friends. friends. Yeah, and we weren't so, and it really was nice. It was yeah, really it nice, was different, so. but right, it was it was nice. It was yeah, nice, so. and it rained. It rained. So yeah, that exactly. Kind of put us in a moody, moody kind of place. Absolutely. But, uh, the Absolutely. presents were wonderful because I've been a good girl. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, but um, before we get into today's topic, um, we have to do shout out shout out and this is actually the last show of the year isn't it yay yeah this is our last, last show one. of I the year, year. Mm-hmm. so again we thank all you all who hung in there with us I really yeah, appreciate what a year you. it was I uh-huh. know mm-hmm. I know um so our first shout out goes to Stephanie C thank you for being a subscriber to conversations mm-hmm. with Sharon and Rosa next we have Ashley J mm-hmm Thank you, Ashley. We appreciate you. And last but not least, Suzette T.S. Suzette T.S. Thank you for your comments. Hey, Suzette. Yeah, <laughs> and for being a um, loyal subscriber. Absolutely. To Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. You know, yeah, and, and, it's, and it is, uh, I have to add to that, because uh, we do have some loyal fans. We really, really do, and mm-hmm. I, uh, I can just... I, I we appreciate you, but you know you guys be going deep, and mm-hmm. so which allows us to stay very honest and to go even deeper. But you know it's just um it's just wonderful. It's very warming uh, yeah. that you guys have been so uh, so welcoming and supportive of uh, conversations with Sharon and Rosa, and um, don't stop what you're doing. Exactly, <laughs> we thank exactly. you. Okay. And please just make sure you know. I mean, this is we're celebrating Kwanzaa this week, so yes. um, just look at some of those principles and make sure you guys try to apply some of all or all of them to your lives. So yeah, all right, yeah, all right. So today's topic is Whoa. New Year's resolutions. Oof. So we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. It makes me tired just even hearing her say that. <laughs> um, how that looks for Sharon and I, and uh, we'll be talking a little bit about, you know, last year's resolutions. Did we complete them? Are we going to complete them this year? What's the rate of people completing them? So you'll hear all that today yeah. on Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. And like always, we want to hear your new year's resolution or even if you even have any you yeah know, some people don't well do you them. don't yeah and, yeah, and, and so, why you don't do them because, and we understand that too, yeah you know so I, yeah so yeah. yeah we're going to talk about that very timely the <laughs> the calendar kind of dictated this conversation today yeah, and as yeah. we like so many uh over 80 percent of other human beings and several different cultures we we're making our own resolutions, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I'd love to hear how you feel about it, but I'm going to you know, later on. I'm going to. I, I just, I just want to hear where you're at with it because I think we're similar but mm-hmm. still different. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah similar yeah. or different. I mean, so. I do believe in uh, resolutions. I think you know, resolutions is like having goals. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, you you put them down and you reach for a goal and you always got to have goals in life. So whatever you want to call them, goals, resolutions, I do believe in them and I do believe in making something new for the new year. So um, we're coming in a whole new year. What does that look like? You know, Um, what are we going to do for that year? What's your plans? What's your goals? Mm -hmm. You know, and then, you know, making. Were were you always like that? No, absolutely not. You know, I didn't believe in, you know, but then again, I didn't have too many goals back then either <laughs> that was the problem <laughs> that was the problem you know See i there? didn't really know how to you know for a long time make goals set goals you know what i'm saying and then um 
you know, figure out how to complete them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I just kind of went with the flow. Like, yeah. okay, yeah, I want to take this class. I want to learn how to how planes fly. Mm-hmm. But where, what does that do? What are you going to do after that? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Are you going to fly the plane or you just right. want to know? You know, so it was like, yeah, I don't know. I just... I just never well, really... it different from person to person, so yeah. let's kick it off. Let's. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I did start with New Year's resolutions, and it probably okay. has been about ten years ago, okay. maybe fifteen, um, that I I really got into New Year's resolutions. And normally I set like five, maybe complete one. <laughs> So I'm taking a different approach this year. Okay. But we'll talk about that. Yeah, because I can say I'm going to circle back and ask you why you only completed four out of the five. And, no, you know, one 50. out of the five. One, I'm, I'm sorry, one out of the five. I was trying to give you some grace. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, look, look I, I know this, sister. The queen of procrastination <laughs> is who I married. But, hey, you did. Look, 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 let but me stop. But I work right. so much better under pressure. I have to so, do it like the so, last minute. Look, I don't know why. It's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't. Yeah. Okay, it scares me. It, it scares me when it comes down to 2 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon and we're not where we're supposed to be and we're supposed to be there on Thursday. So that's my sweetie. And you know what it is? But it's in certain areas. Yeah, not like if I'm, if I'm traveling, I'm packed a week oh, ahead yeah. of time. Well, if I'm, mm, you know mm. what I'm saying, uh, mm. no, I got to pay a bill, it's paid. Right, But right, it's right. just main stuff. Like she wants me to wash the dishes right now. I'll do them before I go to bed. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Well, then they're sitting in there all day. Right, that's right, her. right. I'm suffering for the rest of the day because her turn to wash that's dishes. Her, but that's her procrastination for me. But, yeah. you know, other things, if you ask me to pick you up, I'm there on time. So I'm me not too. a procrastinator in, in all the areas, just in certain things. Things that I I don't really want to do, but I know I have to do. Hmm. And if I'm, if I'm backed in a corner, like when I was in track, if somebody, if I knew somebody, you about track was a, and run, what yeah, you like, and I was yeah. a long jumper. If somebody's score was ahead of mine, and I knew I had another jump, that puts me, you know, ahead. Like yeah, I know what fire. I have to do. The fire is there, and it just it fuels me. So yeah, you're right, the fire. But anyway, we're not talking about procrastination. Well, but you see, That's evidently, another look, show. look, evidently, somebody feels like talking <laughs> this morning, okay? And 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 I don't. For those of you who don't know how we do this, you know, we in our minds we try to set it for you know no more than 30 33 minutes because no one's interesting for an hour and a half more or less three hours even the president of the united states can wrap up the state of the union within 55 minutes so yeah. i feel like with our little lives we right. can wrap it up in 30 and so or we want or less <laughs> right we get to what we want to say you know this is how we did it this is how i did it what do y'all think about it so today very timely new year's resolution so who even started this much who started the New Year's resolution? Yeah, right. And you Who know, did as, start that? well, it's um, there's a little conflict about the the information. Some people say we did, we've been doing it for as much as much as forty. Um, uh, Four thousand years ago, other uh, other um, information led me to, to to accept that, or at least suspect that the Babylonians started uh, New Year's resolutions, and and it's more of a, a Western cultural thing than East, even though it does encompass Eastern uh, cultures now more than it did in the past. But the bottom line is, if you're in the United States, if you're in America, if you're on this side of the hemisphere, chances are you know of, heard of, or been exposed to the idea of making New Year's resolutions. Mm-hmm. And as we want to rinse it down and put, you know, put it in little bite-sized pieces, a resolution is only a commitment for one person to, uh, to start or end a certain practice uh, that will probably, hopefully, better their lives. They say, uh, statistically speaking, only uh, between 8 and 9% of people who make resolutions stay with them and complete them and find, quote unquote, success with them, right? So what happens to that other- that's not even a big percentage. No, like, really. So what happens to that other 81%? That's Rosa, I'm in the- <laughs> What happened to that other ninety one percent? I'm in the ninety percent of folks who don't. <laughs> no. you know, so. and and there's reasons for that too. You know, because no matter how well we start the resolution, 
uh, and with good intentions. And, and, you know, we all have heard the common ones. You know, I want to, you know, better health. I want to lose weight, save money, look better. I want to travel. I need a new job. I want to learn new skills. I want to go to church more often. Whatever it is, somebody's got them and thought about them. And, and it's the, the hard part is not making them up and applying them to you. The, it's the follow through. Mm hmm. You know, because we can say anything on the 31st of December, wake up on the 1st <laughs> of January and say, I'm off to a good start. Where's my running shoes? I'm doing three miles a day. Okay, check on that person in March. Yeah. Check on them in February. Usually the people who do fail already, they fail between day one and day 30 plus. Somewhere so by so if you make your resolution in the first of January by Valentine's Day you done forgot about it you done threw the shoes away gave them away uh, sold them to somebody on eBay because you know you we just can't hold it yeah. so so one of the reasons one of the many reasons why we're quote unquote not successful with our own uh, New Year's resolutions because oftentimes we make them too big um, mm -hmm. unrealistic that's my that's um, my thing right there okay that's it right um, there. hard to measure you know what they say what gets measured gets done mm -hmm. and uh, or like what happens when people that pie in the sky uh i'm gonna be a better person for 2022 well what does you being a better person right. look like how right. do we track that how do we measure that right. and and that's the problem so and also um oftentimes we don't give ourselves a, a lot of time to do it mm -hmm. uh i'm gonna lose 35 pounds in 15 days watch me right that ain't true. Right, so, right. And, I, and I can and speak it shouldn't to that. be because that's no. too much weight and right, too little right, time. Right. But no, yeah, you're right. I think um, for me, it's when you make the goals, it's putting the, you know, the stipulations to them. You know, like mm -hmm. I want to get a new car in 2022. Well, I probably need to put some money away for the new car. I mm -hmm. just can't expect the new car to come, you mm -hmm. know? And like Sharon was talking about the common goals. Yeah, definitely. I think health should always be a common goal. Sure. Um, in the number one, um, mm -hmm resolution because mm -hmm. health is so important you know um and, and not just in a physical sense you know health just all the way around you want to be mentally mm -hmm. healthy mm -hmm. and you know emotionally you know balanced and mm. you know being balanced is the key right and spiritually connected yeah you know yeah. and and some things obviously are more important to some people than yeah, others but yeah. you know but what happens you're rich over here but you're banquet over there you and know it's not it. making for a smooth ride and but i want to uh one thing i hadn't uh, suggested uh, um, put out was the other one of the other reasons why New Year's resolutions does not work for so many people is your level of commitment. Mm -hmm. If it goes out there and they say, you know, I want to lose the, you know, the 15 pounds in seven days or whatever it was, you know what I mean? It's like, well, how committed are you to your own goal? Right. You know, well, I tried it for two weeks, it didn't work, so I'm done. No, you're not done. Your re your resolution probably wasn't realistic. And how well, depending the, on where you are, though. Like well, if you if you are couch potato and know you haven't worked out in two years, and two. you just decided that you're gonna get up and lose, you know, right. thirty pounds, it's like, well, you gotta kind of start from scratch. Let's right. just work on getting up off the sofa <laughs> and watching TV, you know, and taking or, small steps yeah, out the door, like, not to the refrigerator. And I think we look at it, you know, like in a sense where no, I need to lose the weight because like I was saying there is not about the pounds always you know you got to mentally get there you know work mentally on you know yourself and working up to just mm -hmm. getting out and want to do something which will make you lose the weight and if you're right. doing stuff you like you'll lose it anyway right, right you know if you if you like playing racquetball you just go there to play racquetball you're not even thinking about losing the weight but it's coming off you right know? right because you're enjoying which, yourself which brings us to um one of the other things that we, you can think about uh having is a, a support group that mm -hmm. that people who would cheer you on support you as you're going toward one of your resolutions um the thing and keep you accountable Oh, absolutely. A absolutely. That's so, so yeah, exactly. Uh, keep you accountable as well. And um, so let's say it was just, uh, I'm going to save more money uh, this year. Well, first of all, you need to look at what you've been spending your money on. Yeah. Of course, we've known, I mean, from other areas of your life, if you haven't experienced, uh, for the people who have, support groups can be so wonderful. 
and and I mean. I mean it in a in an AA kind of way, and uh, you know um, they got groups for everything. You know what I mean? I'm spending too much money. I'm I'm drinking too much. I'm partying too much. Um, you you know I'm an underachiever. Whatever the it is, whatever your void is, oftentimes people come up, develop, or present a New Year's resolution that will, will cover that. So uh, I remember last year, one of mine was. Uh, we weren't going to be financially independent, mm-hmm. but we were going to be much better, further down the monopoly board than where we were. And so so with that, you know, I was looking at our spending habits and, you know, where are we overdoing it at and where, you know, this and that. And, you know, and I, I know where a couple of mine are, so I'm not going to share them with you um, because we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> No, but seriously, you know, you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah, mine and is definitely Amazon. I'm cutting back on Amazon. <laughs> I come home, there's always three packages. I said, is she is she leaving me and buying stuff, or is she just she got a but hold of a card? It's a and lot of packages. Amazon send your stuff. You can order three things, and they'll send it in three different boxes at three different times. So it looks like you always getting stuff, and it's not necessarily it. I mean, and most of the stuff is just stuff I don't feel like going to CVS for. Or, well, and this know. is what I say. I'm saying. It's maybe the she maybe she's just a person that likes getting mail. So I'm saying, well, I'm going to start writing her letters and cards, so that will satisfy that. Why we got to have? Oh, is that your New Year's resolution to write me a letter this year? We're gonna see if she. I'm gonna write up. you a letter. <laughs> I'm gonna write you a letter, and and my cards are gonna say, stop spending. <laughs> Write you a letter, send yeah, you a card. I don't, I don't really go shopping out and about a lot, but I do. But shop she be online. shop, baby. She working them, working that card, you so, know. And that's that, okay. It's okay because it that has actually been came in, right. But right. That, that's that's become new for me because I I've really never been a big shopper. But you know, hmm. I got I got kids in my pocket, a wife in my pocket, and everybody in my pocket, and everybody needs. Wait a and, what <laughs> what pocket do I have my hand in that has something in it? Let me know. Well, I ain't say anything was in it. I just say you in my pocket. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, well, I have a wife that's in my pocket, and she's in the pocket with me. <laughs> so it's all good. We we work it out on the weekends. <laughs> I'm silly today. So here we go. New Year's resolutions. That's so not true. Uh, New Year's resolutions, you know, what works for you may obviously not work for the other people, uh, the other person, but, you know, not everyone has to do that. I say resolutions, she says goals. Um, Sometimes I think it's, I'm not going to say they're totally interchangeable, but when I think of goals, um, I think of things external to myself. When I think of resolutions, I think of me personalizing some things that I want in my world for Sharon by Sharon. You cannot fulfill my New Year's resolution. Mm-hmm. Only I can. But you can help me, you know, complete a goal. But, yeah, but, but it that's in my on crazy what your head. New Year's resolution. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If they are internal stuff. Like, right, right. You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm meditate just... more or whatever. Mm-hmm. Of course, I can't help you do that. I can do it with you. Right, or I can, right. you know, well, but I cannot help you. You know, you have to set those parameters. But if your New Year's resolution is to, um, I don't know, feed the homeless or be able mm-hmm. to, you know, be more charitable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah then yeah. that that's kind of a goal too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You want, yeah. cause you're helping others. It starts personal, but so right. Exactly. Some do, but, but I'm just saying some things are very ultra personal. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm saying. So I, I, I'm just saying, I'm declaring that I don't think it's, they're always, you know, mm-hmm. the same thing and totally interchangeable, but I dig, I digress. So here we are. So, um, before I look out, I look inward, you know, and I feel like I've been a very, I'm a very goal oriented person. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the personal side, when I look at the me part, just me, and I have my, my sharing list, um, year before last, my, when I go, okay, the health thing was to lose 30 pounds. Well, guess what? I did. And, and it was good and wonderful, but guess what happened right after that? Here comes COVID. I'm up there. I'm I'm making stuff from scratch. I made uh, 
peach cobbler Everybody pie. Everybody blaming it on COVID. I am. I am. I blame am. Blaming it on the al- 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 alcohol. No, okay. we blaming it on the co- on the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we really are. So, so I say it to say that even though that's this is extreme, we've never been here before. We've yeah. never uh, in the house by ourselves for fifteen months. Yeah. You know, just daring to go in and out just to get some. You know, to fight over paper towels and get some more food and run in the house. We start ordering out, and you yeah. know, just this is just not the best time to take my my weight. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But you know, um, which doesn't whatever doesn't take you out makes you stronger. I'm more convinced than ever now because uh, I had a couple of medical um, run-ins that um, really let me know I need, I will, and can, and should take better care of myself yeah. and and of each other. That well so and i open up the refrigerator now it's so look it's so much green stuff in there it looks like a forest and i'm like rosa please 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 what i won't do for a donut okay so in any event so um the point i'm trying to make at this point is is just that you know your res- your resolution they should be personal you know what I mean? Because you can't do it for someone else and someone else can't do it for you. Now, they can help you and assist you, you know, uh, and they can uh, maybe say keep track or mm-hmm. whatever. But the bottom line, it's for you by you. Yes. And you. And the goal is always to make your life better. Yeah. And as we say that, as you look at your life right now, I'm sure there's a list of 20, 10, 5, or some things that you can just – revisit yeah. and say I can do better yeah I and you have to want to mm-hmm. if you don't care it is not going to happen yeah all right because you you know the, the results are going to slap you right in the face well you know you say you're going to run three miles every day then it came down to once a week and then it came down to once a month and then it came down to you sold your shoes you sold your shoes on it on eBay, so I'm just saying it's gonna. You know, how will you reach that goal now? That objective, that resolution of, mm-hmm. you know, my wellness picture. So um, I noticed last year with me, I went deeper spiritually. Yeah. I felt that I did, and because it was just well, you know, the world. Yes. Uh, so I went deeper there, and I'm much. I feel comfortable in where I'm at on that. Uh, but there's other things I started to slide on. And um, so I know I need to tighten up my commitment. Yeah. And um, so so that's where I am at on it. So they're not a bad thing, and they, they differ from person to person. And, and as, uh, you know, out there in lesbian land, you know, you, you got good friends. You got, you got your sweetie. You got people you roll with. Just ask them in a very casual way. You know, what was your resolution yeah. this year? Yeah. You know, if they feel like sharing with you, they will. So, Rose, I'm going to ask you, um, let's not, not what you're setting for this year, but what were some of your goals from last year uh, that you made, you know, in 2020, going into 2021? What were some of your goals? Um, well, the goals I made for last year, um, one was to, um, I started a book like years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's just all over the place right now. So, you know, my goal last year was like, oh, I'll finish the book. But what I've learned, though. Finish the book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what I've learned, though, was, as like Sharon was saying earlier, you know, executing what you say you're going to do. Like, how are you going to finish the book? You know, and so I put that back on my New Year's resolutions for this year. But now I'm executing it different. Like, maybe, you know, finish up the the. the you know, three chapters Mm -hmm. by six months, Mm -hmm. you know, or, Mm -hmm. or three chapters by 15 weeks, whatever the goal is set. So, Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I'm going to sit down and figure out because I realized that last year, oh, and some of my other ones, I'll get into those in a minute, but I realized that last year, you know, they were too grand. Uh, I need to do more micro yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of yeah, setting yeah. and then kind of putting them on a timeline. Take smaller bites. Yeah, because you know? finish a book just sounds like finish a book. Like, that's a whole lot. No, that, that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When, when you say yeah. finish, it, it implies that you have started and well on your way. Right. And my <laughs> other one was to get fit. Like, I was like, I want to be fit. Like, I am nowhere near. Like, this is the heaviest I've ever been in my life. And it's so uncomfortable for me. Um, because it's like, you know, I never 
you don't want to body shame anybody or whatever. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's not who I am, you know. Mm-hmm. And people look mm-hmm. at me and it's like, girl, you look great. You don't, you know, and I'm just like, and mm-hmm. I hate to even say stuff, but it's like, yeah, I, I personally don't like me. So I've gotten to the point where it's like, well, how are you going to stay fit? You mm-hmm. know, are you going to, mm-hmm. you know, join a gym? Sharon's opening up the garage back up for me. So I'm about to put my, my uh, workout stuff in there. Hold on. Can we talk about the garage wars for one second? What do you mean I'm opening up the garage? You're giving it back to me. I'm freeing the garage once again because I like parking my car in the garage. It is a garage, right? Right. But you you are sacrificing not parking your car in the garage so that I can have my workout equipment in there. So And that's support. Wouldn't you agree? That is I'm supporting her and what she needs to do and yeah. Yeah, so I just need to get me a weight set. I'm going to be good to go. Um, so that's a goal I had last year, and mm-hmm. I didn't complete. Of course, the book was one that I had last year, and I didn't complete. Um, my other one that I had last year that I did complete was, you know, I'm, I'm, I wanted to put in there that I'm lear- I wanted to learn to love myself better, and I think I've gotten to a better place with me. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. that was one I felt like I completed. Uh, of course, you know, there's always – more learning and growing with that. Oh, sure. But that's as I mature and, and I grow, you know, things about who I am uh, more revealed, mm-hmm. you know. And the one thing, too, when you have kids, they reveal your stuff. <laughs> they do. They call you out on your stuff. But, Mom, you ain't da 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 And you got to look back and be like, dang, does she see me like that? You yeah. know, does my son say, you know, he... <laughs> So a lot of it is is taking note from the people that love you, you know, because my wife would say stuff too, you know, you go back. Is that true? And then like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and you got to be true with yourself. Like, yeah, it is true. You need to do something. And if it's not the first time you heard something, it probably is true. You know, so, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm not saying take everybody's word for it, because not no. everybody loving you and everybody not in your no, amen corner. No. But people who but you at the trust same time, and know you and love you, you right, can trust. For me to start loving who I am, that means I got to accept the bull that comes with me, too. So that's one of my, um, that I'm putting back on there on my new resolutions, too, because I got to always do that, you know. And as we said earlier common health you know health is is a big one for me staying balanced will help you complete anything else mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. when you're off balance you you're know off balance. mentally yeah you know you you don't even want to even begin to think about the stuff you have to do you know mm-hmm. so you got to get you got to get yourself mentally there too so yeah that's get on, ready to that, get ready yeah mm-hmm. so that's on on this one too you know and, and like sharon was saying earlier um you know, saving more money. So the the goal we had last year, you put money in there, and you want to do more than that this this year. You know, so that was that goal, and now it's like, okay, if we can save this, then we can save this too. You know. Oh, absolutely. So, we can. We definitely can do so better. So we can. Yeah. We, we can definitely up that up that goal. So and, yeah. and um, one of my last, probably not least goal is um to be you know a better person and what does that look like for Mm -hmm. me so write that down be a better mother what does that look like you know wife and you know just all around and that goes a little bit with health because it's like you know to be a better person you got to be healthy in Mm -hmm. your aspects you know uh, mm -hmm. yeah and so maybe i need to you know go talk to a, a counselor or something this year or mm-hmm. maybe you know do something that just to help me because nobody can do it by themselves especially no, no. if it's something you want to do that you have no clue about doing how do you start mm-hmm. it you know go to somebody who knows how to start you and might have a best friend who's a nutritionist if right, you want to eat right, right ask them talk mm-hmm. to them about it you know or look online all of the stuff i google everything and youtube everything so yeah um so you know you get a lot of different perspectives in, in those areas because mm-hmm. we are in a day an age that people don't mind sharing and they and the the, the information is out there yeah so um yes. yeah so i'm i'm really excited about the new year's resolutions and um i am i am too and uh to put do, the spotlight on do you on have me. any uh yeah I, okay. I i do i do <laughs> and it's the recurring one is a recurring one you know but uh the fight is still on and that is uh you know to get myself in a better um physical posture and it's been a battle of my life uh you know one time you know i 
I, of course, the military kept it off of me, you know, for a good while. But, um, you know, like any other good retiree, you know, uh, I've been retired 25 years, you know, from the military. And uh, I have gained more than 25 pounds. You know, that's more than one a year. So, so, with, so, so I know my environment, my age, my readiness. Uh, uh, Rosa always invites me to go roller skating, running, jog, um, um, walking. Uh, not so much hiking because she know I ain't, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but any event, so or jumping because so, you so could come jump. out and turn. That's right, exercise. Right, and she um, she encourages encourages me and. And with my arrogance, I'm saying, well, I don't need anybody to, to encourage me. No one no one saw those numbers. Well, perhaps I misspoke. It's not like I don't need anybody's help. I just feel like it never, it didn't used to be so hard and so difficult. And even when I have the energy, I don't always have the capability. And then in the last three years, there's been three surgeries. And yeah. so, so ouch. So like, I'm just thinking that I could roll out of bed on my own <laughs> strength, you know? So I'm getting back to a place that I never should have left. And what's so loving and wonderful uh, about Rosa is like, you know, she doesn't beat me down about it. Um, she does um, fix a lot more salmon and a lot more spinach. And uh, what I could do for myself was like, I said, babe, I stopped drinking seven. You know, do you realize if you stop drinking sodas that you'll lose seven pounds naturally? Did you know that? Just don't drink soda. Not that that's the bad guy, you know what I mean, by itself. But I'm just saying. Um, but for I, those of you who are out there, you know, you yeah. may want to take a look at that. If you're right. drinking sodas, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing yeah. a six-pack a day, right. and then I'm at the point where I try not to even bring them in the house. And when I do, it was like when I would look at people who were trying to stop smoking. I've never been a smoker, so I don't know what it feels like to go through the garbage can looking for a cigarette butt. Right. That wasn't me. However, I I would also see people who smoke. They would like, okay, I don't buy them anymore. I'm just going to bum a cigarette. Well, now you become a bummer, you know, <laughs> but, but but that's okay. But I understand. I understand now. So yeah. when, for me to bring a soda home, I bring one just for me. I'm not trying to share my bad habits. And, and again, Rosa doesn't beat me down about it, but she gives me that look like, hmm. Wait till she weigh in on Thursday. Hmm. No, have another one. Oh, you doing you doing big Coca Colas, huh? Hmm. <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, uh, I'm saying that to say that you know, support is a great thing, you know, and 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 ha having Rosa in my life, um, she does help me with that. But no one can beat themselves up better than you can. Absolutely. So do know that, you know. I'm just saying, I don't need a special email to say that. Uh, you gain one more pound, they're going to put you with Barnum and Bailey, right. you know, in, in the big woman tent. So, anyhow, so, so today... But, yeah, but I sorry. think we need to learn how to not beat ourselves up. You know, you just start over. You know, you fail, and then you just start over. It, yeah. It's going to stick one day, one day. That right. brick wall for you will come one day, one day. Yeah, and, and starting and over it is hard, too. You know, yeah. so I don't see it as failure, but I said, oh, I missed the goal again. Yeah. And I remember, and, and, and because I say it has been lifelong, I remember this is over 20 years ago. I, need, I wanted to go somewhere to some trip or something. I said, oh, I need to put, uh, the trip was $2,000. And, and I was able to say, put it away, 2500 You know why? Because it was easier for me to save money than it was for me to lose 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. And that's when I had, to, my light went on like, you must be one, you know, cookie eating babe. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's not what I said. But <laughs> well, whatever seems hard for us is what we don't want to do. So you you, Absolutely. you put something else in, in front of that. And that's the, the goal is try to tackle that, whatever that's challenging for you. Just, you know, take on the challenge and, and try to do it. Take it on. So, yeah, yeah. Take, take it on. So, yeah. so today we're talking about uh, New Year's resolutions. Uh, Rose and I shared some of the ones that, you know, we had, but I didn't finish mine. Like I said, oh, uh, okay. I didn't Sorry. finish mine. So my, one was about, about the money, of course, about the, um, about the weight, uh, spiritually, you know, like you said, I, you know, out of the top five, I completed three, uh, and the other two are still, you know, it weighs on me. So what we're saying today is whatever your resolution is, you know, it's the resolutions are, it's personal, it's yours, but be realistic with them. Uh, uh, ask for support to, you know, you make your, your, your little circle, or if you don't have a circle, get one, yes. you know, but just the people that you, uh, that you trust enough, like say, hey, I'm really trying to get better with my weight. Uh, if you see me, you know, 
eating Philadelphia Tasty Cakes, mm -hmm. call the cops. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm being if dramatic. You don't get out. Your support group could be. You can start a Facebook page. You mm -hmm. know, everybody mm -hmm. who's struggling to stop eating Tasty Cakes, whatever. Yeah. There's yeah. people out there that's going through the same thing you're going through. Mm -hmm. If so not, if not worse. that you're not alone, mm -hmm. and there are people. So definitely get that that support group Sharon was talking about. You and know. and and as we oftentimes beat ourselves up better than anyone else, as I said, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you celebrate your achievements. Yes. Do not minimize your accomplishments. One thing, and this is psychologically speaking, sometimes we we go way too fast through our good moments, mm -hmm. which leaves us extra time to talk about the bad ones. Yeah. So you you know like say hey you know what I'm not ready for no marathon but I'm now completing five miles and maybe that could be your max. Right. Don't compare yourself to Rosa because I surely can't. Right. You know I me. Mean? You know Rosa could you know just, just you know get up and go run for seven miles if she wants to. I can't. I can't even walk seven miles right walk, now. Walk run. <laughs> well, no, well, yeah, well, don't minimize yourself. No, you're right. Right? You you're know, right. don't minimize yourself, okay? So, and there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, I know I'm not that person. My knees are shot, my hips hurt, my back hurt. <laughs> not excuses, just declaring my own truth. Right. But what, so later for what I can't do, I know what I can do. If that means stop drinking soda, the real ones, because I can't stand a diet soda. Ew. Um, I, it's easier for me not to drink a soda than to drink a diet soda. Ew. So, whether it's the sodas or munching, you know, eating after 6 p.m. or, you know, doggone well, you should be eating those carrots and celery and as opposed to extra butter on that popcorn, whatever the it is. Mm -hmm. And we know what the it's are if, you look, if you're being honest and you're looking at your life, right. you know, but look at them and own it. You know, and then, like I said, you, you know, make sure that you celebrate yourself. Hey, I did this, you know, yes, I bought the cupcakes, but I only ate one. And that's a good day yeah. because I've seen the time when I would throw down two packs. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? So celebrate yourself, your achievements, and, and be honest with yourself. Make your uh, resolutions realistic. Make sure that you have accountability. You know, like, well, if I don't tell nobody I didn't start, they won't know. Well, it's okay. And how effective yeah, is that? Yeah, you got to put it out in the universe. You, you, you do. You, you, you do. To. And you don't have to tell everybody, but tell somebody. Right. Somebody, you know, Sharon trying to lose 30 pounds again, but I saw her drinking a Coca-Cola. Well, no, we, those aren't your friends. Yeah. Those are, you, you, you know that. So so what we're saying, and not to make it deeper than what it is, you know, um, having New Year's resolutions are a good thing. Make them work for you. Make them real. Make, mm -hmm. them, make them yours. Own it. If you're taking the time to do it, well, then really do it. Yeah. And it ain't get done until you... It doesn't get done until you get through it. And if it's an ongoing thing, well, you know, uh, hey, you remember the picture of Jaws when he sees the, the big fish, the big shark? He said, I'm going to need a bigger boat. Well, then maybe we need a bigger boat. Maybe you need something bigger than what you have right now to achieve your goal. Okay, I'm an overeater. All right, well, then I'm, go I'm back at Weight Watchers because they work for me. They really do, and I like that. I like talking to people. I like the new recipes and all of that. Uh, whatever your 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 it is, uh, if it's um, alcohol, the, the drugs, spending too much money, uh, gambling, you know, you know what your world is. Right. You know, it is what it is. But we just had to speak to it this morning. And before we leave you, like every day, every day y'all see us. You know, every week that is, I should say, we're always wishing you the very best of all good things. Stay safe. Stay woke and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.